Hello everybody, this is Kyrie with more Let's Play Harvest Moon Back to Nature. And uh, I'm in the process of looking something up here. I can't seem to find one of the recipes. So I'm gonna, oh there it is. I'm about to say, so I'm gonna make it up, but here we go. It's a recipe I'm gonna need, actually. But I'll make it tomorrow, because that's when I can get it in-game. Of course, we're starting the 28th. We've only got three days of spring left. Almost done with it. Give me rain tomorrow? Nope, no rain tomorrow. Oh, that sucks. I must have planted shit. Or no, no, I bought stuff. Dog. Hello, dog. Go on, little dog. Get your bowl. soon actually have the final utensil. So much of this game is finished. Ah, oh, there we go. That's the good stuff right there. Cucumbers. And turnips. Oh, God. It's gonna be one of those days, isn't it? We're, uh, we're gonna go in here. Pretty much done harvesting for the season. Well, except for these, of course. It's going to be one of those days. Fortunately, I didn't have anything to do today, because I don't really have the time to do anything today. Okay, we're going to get the brush back out. That's good. Did I dump this yet? I did. Okay, just testing. We're going to do some critter care. Ooh, also got to feed the fish. Some of this stuff. Yeah. Feed damn fish. Check the fish. Ooh, the fish are breeding finally. Yay, fish. Unless I caught fish that I forgot about catching, which is entirely possible. I mean, I'm not exactly known for my steel trap mind, after all. Some weird abomination. It's half cow and half another half of a cow. You must have been the mill and I milk in the first place. Yes, milk the feed trough. That's totally gonna work. There we go. Oh, that's right, cabbages. I'm sitting here thinking, what's the other thing that I harvested? Was cabbages. Or not harvested, but planted, rather. I'm like, okay, I have my turnips, I have my cucumbers, what the fuck was the other thing? Uh, 
That's gonna be a thing later, I can already taste it. Come on. Give me the egg. Eggs! Nope, wasn't ready for that yet. Come on. Wrong button. There we go. Oh, that's right. <coughs> the good news is that the actual harvest of my crops doesn't necessarily need to happen today. Like, if I can't get all the cucumbers and all the turnips, then I can just hold over some of them towards tomorrow because I'm not going to get another harvest of them. You know, it's not going to kill me to let them slide for a single day. One more? One more. Okay, there's that. Tomorrow's gonna be fun, assuming I even bother to care. Basically, tomorrow's Greg's birthday. I will make one attempt to bring him the present of a single fish. One attempt. And if I find him, cool. If I don't, it's going in the pond. And only if I catch one, because I'm not pulling one out of my pond just to give to that blur. You know? Because fuck Greg. Greg made me waste so much time of the first spring. Time that could have been spent doing anything else. Hell, time that could have been spent getting Ellie into the red. Made me waste that time, and it kind of ticks me off. And where the fuck has Popori been? She's probably got an event going on that I'm missing. So I'm going to go check. She shouldn't have an event, though. Kai's not here. I don't think there's an, any day like Sunday, for example, that she doesn't show up. I don't know. Maybe it's a glitch. Right now, I can't really be bothered to care. Anyway, this is going to be the last, well, no, the second to last big harvest of spring. The last big harvest of spring is going to be those cabbages. And probably the turnips, too. Oh, okay, let's see, where'd my basket go? I kind of need this. kind of on the fence as to whether it's faster to do it this way or to just shove them in the rucksack and do it. For now, I'm just in the mood to do them this way. Until right now. When I suddenly change my mind. Unintentional, but okay. God, this is gonna be one of those days I can just tell. But not a bad one of those days. It's gonna be a good one of those days, because this is one of those days where I make a fuckload of money.
kind of like that line from Spaceballs. We're not just doing this for money. We're not? We're doing it for a shitload of money. Yeah. A shitload of money. The kind of money only an excessive amount of turnips can bring in. Or, you know, a single field of pineapples. Into the hothouse we go. Cause it's harvest day. There's 30 more turnips into the grinder. You know what? Ideally, I would keep Anne on my uh, friend list in blue until Winter Thanksgiving as well, so it's not just Mary that's giving me chocolate. Because <clears throat> even though there are only two chocolate recipes, there's kind of a third one, which is the poor man's chocolate cookie recipe, basically. Yeah, I don't think I'm getting that patch today, which is fine. We'll save those for tomorrow. It's so strange watering that one little patch again. But hey, it's still got a cucumber it can make for me tomorrow. <clears throat> and I intend to get that cucumber. Also, how's my money looking? Money's looking good. Not quite good enough to get those cows. But nonetheless, very, very good. I do fully intend to start the, the summer with a full barn. Which, if nothing else, the second day of summer will be the latest. <clears throat> where I will actually be able to let that happen. Because all these cabbages will come in and that's a barn. That's a fucking livestock nest right there, just about. Yeah, that's probably half the money I need right there. Got it? Still got it. Perfect. Alright, Greg. If I catch you a fish, a living fish, probably shouldn't have thrown that back in the water. I think that counts as littering. If I can catch you a single fish, then you can consider that your birthday present. That's not a fish either. Apparently your fields are exempt from the littering room for reasons. God damn it. What is it with everyone having the worst timing? One moment.
And back, back. That's still not a fish. God, I hate Greg. There we go. Light wood doing. Eh, it's not the point where I need to concern myself with it. Hopefully tomorrow will be one of those days. The ones where it rains. Well, not tomorrow, but the day after, because I know I'm not getting rain on the first. However, it's Monday, so it's time for my favorite TV show. Well, my other favorite TV show. My favorite TV show is the one where I get to go on home shopping and get my new kitchen implements. But this is my favorite one to actually watch. Hey, what can I say? I like progress. Honestly, that's, that must be a Japanese thing. Who thinks to get a puppy milk? I mean, I know <clears throat> dogs like milk and whatnot, but my first thought would have been get it some meat. I mean, it's a fucking puppy, not a cat. You know? Oh, shit, are my cabbages? My cabbages are in. That's, that's a hell of a thing. At least I think they're in. They look in. fish all the way to Greg. But I'm trying to get at least every certain, every single person in this game a birthday present at least once. Which is gonna suck because I don't think May comes outside on her birthday and I don't think I can go in there. Now, for safety's sake, we're going to do it this way. Just so I don't accidentally throw that precious fish, because there's no place indoors that I can fish forever and not lose energy. The only place I know where I can fish indoors is only around in the wintertime, and I don't think Greg comes out in the winter. Matter of fact, I, don't, I, I think he's a seasonal person. I think he only comes out in spring. But then again, I'm pretty sure I've gotten it in the summer before, the uh, fishing rod, so who, who the hell knows, honestly. Anyway, I'm going to do my, my usual errands, and if I run into them, then I run into them, but if I don't, then fuck it. Good news is, all of my crops came in, so by tomorrow I will have all of my money. So maybe I will have those cows tomorrow after all. I wasn't expecting the cabbages to be ready yet. I'm absolutely grateful that they are. <clears throat> I could really use that money. <clears throat> but I wasn't expecting it. Not in the slightest. 
Especially since the book said 15 days. 15 days from the 15th should be the 30th, unless it counts that day. Which would explain why so many of my counts have been off. Which means that uh, I may very well have uh, pineapples in today. I'm going to put these in, because I've got all the crops for today, so that's not a big deal. And I'm going to need an empty rucksack. Well, no, if they're, uh... <clears throat> I just need to make sure that I have milk in here. If I've got milk in here, I'm good. So it's like my real kitchen. Do I have milk today? Oh, God, I've got plenty of milk. I wish I had that much milk in my freaking kitchen. Before you say something stupid like, well, Kyrix, wh why, why would you uh, want eight gallons of milk? Because I'll fucking drink them. Eight gallons of milk, that's just about a week's worth of milk for me. I will go through that much milk. And if I don't, my roommate will. <coughs> <coughs> oh, sorry about all the coughing. Um, when, uh... When Walgreens had a big sale on milk, like two ninety nine a gallon or something like that, I went over there and came back with three gallons of milk, told him about it, and he went back, came back with like freaking four more. Well, I guess she didn't have an event. Maybe she just doesn't come on Sundays. Or maybe my insensitive ass missed it. Or maybe she was glitched. Either way. All right, Greg, you've got until about nine. If you don't show up, this fish is going to my pond. Fuck, I don't even think I'm going to give him that long. No, oh, fuck you, Greg. You don't exist. You're not a real person. And you're not going to get this fish. You don't deserve this fish. This fish is only for people who actually exist, and you don't. Let's talk to Karen, because she'll be outside today. Hi, Pastor Carter. I was tempted to give him the fish. I'm like, no, I need this fish. This fish will get me closer to my limit. several of these, but for once, not for the harvest sprites. These are actually for the house. Again, who the hell came up with the concept of flour? And I can see rice. I think rice exists naturally, but flour? And then, with flour, who, the, who, who came up with how, how you make that into bread? I mean, I can see eggs. Eggs make sense. Humans see animals eating eggs all the time. Like, ooh. I should try that. Oh, that's yummy, especially when you cook it. <clears throat> milk. I can see the logical jump from that. Hmm. Humans drink milk. Those things are making milk. Let's try it, you know? That makes sense. A little weird. But at least there's a logical jump there. <clears throat> Where does cooking come from? 
one of these days I'll look it up and I'll just be have my mind completely blown the concept of cooking. Cause what fucking psychopath comes up with that concept? And you can't tell me they're not crazy to come up with a concept of cooking. I'm gonna grind up a bunch of wheat. I'm gonna mix it with water and a bunch of other stuff. Toss it in a fire for a little while. And then we're gonna get something I'm calling bread. And then I'm gonna slice it and blow your mind twice in the same day. Yeah, what the hell's up with that greatest thing since sliced bread thing? Not that big a deal. But again, I'm not much of a bread person, so maybe that has something to do with it. Alright, resume the harvest. Also, whoops, missed it. I'm almost done with this. Tomorrow I won't need it all, aside from the pineapples. Or for the fact that summer's just about to happen. I put the damn thing away. Oh, I was really hoping for pineapples. That would have made today awesome. Well, awesomer. Okay, so I got the final cucumber. Bunch of fucking turnips. And uh, all of the cabbages in the world. After which point, I can uh, go to bed and get my cow. Zuh, my cow, zuh. Gonna need this today. As I recall, it's not unusual for me to have something in the neighborhood of a thousand turnips by the end of a playthrough. It's kind of easy to see why. They're very low maintenance. And by low maintenance, I mean there is no maintenance on turnips. Just water them for a couple days and then instant money. Now, if only there was some tool to help me pick the damn things, you know, besides the harvest sprites, which are difficult to aim, let's say. Oh, my dumb ass should have been picking overnight. Forgot I could do that now. forgetting that's a thing, that I have a fridge now and I can pick shit overnight. Oh well, that's my stupidity. I should have done it. That's what summer's for. It's a beautiful thing about corn, is corn is the one thing that doesn't need to be harvested on time. Because anything I don't harvest on time goes right into the grinder. Because it probably would have been spent on chicken feed anyway. I mean, I'm running out of stuff to buy. I really am. That's not even an exaggeration. There's almost no nothing more for me to buy once I get the livestock. It'll be just seeds and presents and nothing else. I will become independently wealthy for the reason of being independently wealthy. That will be its own justification, and I'm not even making that up. There really is a point where you become rich for the sake of being rich. And I tend to call that year two. I am going to test another theory, though. Which is, two bat crops in the basket keep overnight, and I'm going to test it with those turnips. Certainly not going to test it with the cabbages. These things are too fucking valuable. 
Look at them, they're made of money. Got the consistency and everything. Which makes me wonder what kind of money I'm messing with, huh? Well, those cabbages so far should at least put me over the limit. This naturally is where the corn's gonna be in uh, next season. I might be able to get one more crop of those up, and I can get the rest tomorrow. It occurs to me, though, I don't even know where I'm going to find Sasha tomorrow for her birthday. Oh, by the way, for those who somehow missed it, today is Greg's birthday, but nobody cares. Just fuck Greg. If I were a Twitter person, I'd make up some smart-ass Twitter thing, like, oh, hashtag fuck Greg, or whatever, I don't know. I have no idea how that shit works, and I don't really care. Alright, this should be a significant amount of money. A not unthinkable amount. Give me money. Give me money. What you got for me? Oh! Oh, my wallet. It's so heavy. It hurts. I think I've sprained my wrist picking up my wallet. Oh, it hurts so much. In a good way, though. It's a good pain. This is going into the house to store for tomorrow so that I can get my mega harvest in. And the bluegrass and bamboo shoots will hold as well. It also helps that, like I said, I'm trying to get every single cooking ingredient in the game as well. Now, I can't plant my summer crops today because they'll die tomorrow. Tomorrow I can plant them. Now, tomorrow I will save the game before going to sleep, because that power berry is a little too important to miss. I'd really rather not lose it. You know, because I'm only going to get one more shot at it, unless I play to 100. I'm not even going to bother with the bluegrass today, but I will get the bamboo shoots, if I can remember. Because by the time I'm ready, I might not even care anymore.
And honestly, with the pineapples that I think are coming up tomorrow and the rest of my cabbages and possibly these turnips. Then, uh, who knows? Uh, I should have enough for my grass, at least. that's what I'll do. I'll add the bluegrass to this, and if it goes, it goes. If it fits, it ships. Speaking of which, did I feed the fish? I totally fed the fish. I was real excited for having like, oh, the fish bread again, but no, that was the tiny one I tossed in there. Let's see if rabbits come and eat the turnips in the night. There's a thing I need to do for the morning time. Fortunately for me, tomorrow is going to be a very low-end day, very low-key. Mostly be, you know, harvesting what little is left to harvest. Which is to say, pretty much nothing. <clears throat> now, we are going to make a thing. Actually, no, we're going to make two things. We're going to make two things. First off, we're going to need one of these. Oops. That'll work. One of these. And one of these. Oh, oh, almost forgot, almost forgot, almost forgot. going to need one of these, too. Now, first off, got to get some butter. Well, butter is its own recipe, and butter is simple to make. Cook a dish. Try cooking something new, the mixer, and the milk. Try cooking. Give me some butter. Give me some butter. Now, let's see here. We need four cookies, flour, butter, egg. We need the uh, rolling pin, the oven, and some sugar. This is my oven, right? And some honey for extra flavor. You know what occurs to me? I don't own a rolling, rolling pin and haven't for about 20 years. Never used them. No, that's not fair. We used to use them to, uh, act, uh, believe it or not, as a back massager. Have someone lay down, run the rolling pin uh, up and down their back. Very comfy. Oh, my God. That is, a, that is the best thing in the world. It really is. Anyway. It is le bedtime. <clears throat> we step out tomorrow morning, and lo and behold, there will be a kitchen knife waiting for me in a fully stocked kitchen. Congrats to me. Tomorrow's sunny. I don't even know why I'm bothering to check. And because the world hates me, the day after that will be a hurricane. By the way, if it is a hurricane, no accusations of me resaving the game because it's random. Unless it's like the day before. For example, if I save the day before tomorrow, or if I save tonight... It will lock tomorrow's weather in. But it will not lock, say, the third's weather in. I can reload the save and do the third 
like five different times and possibly get different weather. Oh, Kai's back! Hey, buddy! I forgot you were back. I will actually have to do that this time, because I didn't before. Got anything in you? Oh, what do you know? They saved! Now, let's just make sure. 521 turnips. Jesus Christ. So many turnips! Oh yeah, better put that down. <clears throat> now, for the record... I believe my goal for year two is supposed to be 66%, or maybe that's, uh, yeah, year two I think is 66%. I'm already most of the way there. <clears throat> I think that number's gonna get bigger as soon as I start filling out recipes, which is gonna happen fairly soon. Probably the winter time is when I'm gonna be stocking up recipes like nobody's business. Okay, so what have I got? Oh, that's right, I gotta do the thing. Gotta do the thing for Papui's birthday. Yeah, that's coming up. I really shouldn't waste such a thing on her birthday. I'm gonna. It's not like it's that big of a deal. Actually, I'm gonna wait on it. I was gonna get the uh, the Oracle come out and do that now, but I'm like, no, wait a little bit. There's my knife. Yeah. I do think it'd be funny if, with the money that I'm gonna have by the end of year three, if they did kick me out. Because I would probably literally have enough money to buy and sell this town six times over. You can't kick me out? Why? Because I own the town. You get out. Get out of my town. How did you... Pineapples, bitch. <laughs> that needs to be a thing. That needs to be like a freaking... If only Harvest Moon were more popular to get little meme pictures like pineapples, bitch. But no one is ever going to get that. There's like five people who are going to get that, and only one of them is going to bother watching this shit. Gonna get nuts at the barn today. You know, unless he won't let me buy them today. In which case, I still say I hit my limit, but uh, the game would beg to differ. Can't believe I still have that fucking sickle out. I almost left without feeding all the chickens again. Alright, in a minute you're going to see the livestock list. Well, a little more than a minute. Okay, there will be significantly less money today than there usually has been, but nonetheless... It'll be a thing. I mean, hey, at least I'm getting money at all, right? Did I feed the fish? Important question. 60 fish food? Oh yeah, fed the fish. Good. Good little carrots. 
Might see if there's more salmon patties out there during my break. Yeah, we made salmon patties. I forgot how fucking filling those things are. You don't understand. It's something about the salmon patties. Well, in our case, they're mackerel patties, but we've been calling them salmon patties for years, so who cares? The fish patties. Let's go with that. The fish patties, it's something about... Maybe it's the crackers, because you grind crackers up into them. But they're the size of a hamburger patty and three times as filling, and I think it's the crackers. I really do. You know, there might still be some ramen out there, too. I could go with some ramen. Hell, I could just go for some food. Pineapples! Forgot to check the pineapples. I'm such a horrible farmer. I forgot the pineapples. They're only my goddamn livelihood, and I forgot them. But yeah, my roommate and I have started recording LEGO Jurassic World. And I did check if he wanted to do that before I started this, but he's like, nah, we'll do it tomorrow. We'll do more of it tomorrow, rather. God, I'm not getting the pineapples, I guess. Better not hurricane tomorrow. I'm going to be pissed if I only get one summer's worth of pineapple out of these things. Still, even, even if I only get one single season's worth of pineapples, that's... Oh, so good. So good. Okay, again, you might notice that I'm ignoring the cows. There's a reason for that. Also, let's see if I can get in to see Sasha. Because I've got cookies. Oh, cookies. Sorry, I watched that Dragon Age Origins thing again with the... Uh, there's a part where you have to bribe this dock guard. And one of the things you can do is get Stan to give him some cookies. He's like, oh, I don't want to do this. Oh, I'm a little hungry. He's like, fine, I'll give him these. Oh, cookies! In almost that exact same tone and everything. Just, oh, cookies! I have a hard time thinking of anything else. You know, I have some fucking Oreos in there. I just have been hesitant to eat them because I don't have any milk. And you know what it's like, Oreos without milk. Especially chocolate Oreos, which is what these are. Why are you open, open? Hey, Harris. Yeah, I gave your dog away to stew. There she is! Oh, this is the best! Happy birthday, Sasha! I think that's a hint. waiting for you to open. Well, hell, that saves me a trip. I can just sit out here now. But yeah, that that um, that chocolate cookies 2 recipe might not be a separate recipe in and of itself. So, we'll see. Are you open? You are open. Woohoo! Okay, first we're going to do a sheep. We're, no, we're going to do a cow. Because, trust me, this leads into something. I will be giving it a name. Alright, time for the livestock list. We're going to go on down the line. Okay. Cow number three of the group is... Tyler. And I feel uh, confident calling him this because I've heard him call himself this in his own videos. Kyler is Mario Yoshi 67, I believe, is what he calls himself, and uh, he was the guy who routinely fucking destroyed me in Star's Challenges. He and I, uh, we, we talk on Skype occasionally, he's been very busy, so I haven't been bothering him, but um, we actually did a net play of Joe and Mac, and that was a fucking nightmare. I'm planning to try and do another one with him, because we didn't beat the game with us actually beating the game and have him do a solo because I did a solo of it and I want to do two uh, co-ops with him one of us just playing it one of us beating it and then have him do a solo 
if he can find the time. But uh, check out his channel. He's uh, very entertaining. He has a thing with a friend of his. I think it's like Kyler and Max play or something. If uh, I'm sorry if I got your friend's name wrong, but uh, they're doing... As of this, they're doing Alien Isolation, and the only reason I'm not watching it is because I'm also doing Alien Isolation as mine is a blind run, so... Okay. Next. Um, this cow is Aizen. Aizen has two names that I've seen. One is Aizen the Animaniac, which was his original, uh, I think, something awful, uh, name that he did. And ever since getting into, um, My Little Pony, it's become Aizen Dobroniak. And he does lots of stuff with Mega Man. I have been fortunate enough to do co-commentary with him. Uh, post-commentary, that is. <clears throat> on, uh, a couple of his Mega Man LPs. And they were fun. They were a lot of fun. Uh, check his channel out, too. I watch him a lot. Uh, he also does blind reactions of MLP. He's done most of the series, I believe. Fallen a bit behind on Season 5, but, eh, what, what can you do? <clears throat> okay. This is, uh... Another one, Bohepins. I think it's the second or the third, I can't remember. Also goes by the Randomite King, who uh, I know him from Aizen. He's on a lot of his channels, he does a lot of the co-commentary stuff. I have also done co-commentary with him. His channel is uh, pretty entertaining, he seems to do a lot of ROM hacks. One of the things uh, <clears throat> they do, I think they do uh, what they call crappy pasta readings, which I've seen Slowbee from Diabetes do as well, where they just have Aizen doing a, uh, an LP while Bohepins is uh, reading the crappy pasta to him, which is shitty creepy pasta. Sometimes they switch it up. Uh, at the time, he's been posting a net play he did of Super Mario All-Stars where he's playing Mario 3 with a friend of his. And I've been in the comments section fucking with him, you know. All in good fun, but very entertaining person. I don't talk to him much, but I do have him and Aizen both on Skype. But he's mostly on there for specific projects, so he's not too chatty. Okay, next cow. And this is a bit of a guilty pleasure, calling it this. But this is... Slowbeef. A cow named Slowbeef. Now, I have not personally interacted with Slowbeef, because, quite frankly, I'm a little intimidated by the guy. Slowbeef is, from what I understand, the original video Let's Play. Not the original Let's Player, but definitely the first one to put it to video. So he kind of started this whole thing. Um, I mostly know him for the Metroid LPs, though he's done things like Snatcher and a couple of other things. Very entertaining. Uh, usually with uh, with a partner of his own, I needed a second sheep, so it's going to be this. Actually, no, I think I can do the whole thing. Wow, I was just going to call him Beatus, but yeah, it fits. Diabetes. <clears throat> I have a hard time thinking slow beef without also thinking of diabetes, because everything I've ever seen of slow beef has had diabetes in it. It's like his constant sidekick. They both do streams. I've seen some of slow beef stuff. I, I never managed to catch his actual streams. But I've seen uh, his stuff, the aftermath of it. <clears throat> and diabetes is actually very good in and of itself. <clears throat> very, very dry humor on both of them. But Diabetes seems to get the most out of that. Um, I don't even know why I'm plugging them, because, let's face it, uh, if you're watching... If you're if you're watching me, I'm not going to be the guy who's going to send you to Slow Beef and Diabetes. You know? I, there's no way I'm your first fucking Let's Player, and if I am, I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm ruining it for everyone. Like, wow, this guy's a Let's Player? Huh, I don't know what the big deal is. Okay, next. Another Let's Player that should need no introductions. Certainly not for me. And no, this is not a typo. Chugga for Chugga Conroy. 
one third of the core Runaway Guys group. Um, Jugga Gonroy, lots of Nintendo games, very uh, very detailed Let's Player. He does lots of research, lots of background stuff on everything. Um, you learn stuff when you watch Chugga Conroy Let's Play. First off, how not to do joke? No, I'm 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 kidding. I really am. Um, this one I missed by literally one letter from doing the full thing. If we got Chugga, we gotta have John to torment him, or well, vice versa. Proton John. Proton John is one of the first le Let's Players I discovered. It's through him that I discovered the Runaway Guys. Proton John does fucking everything. I knew him first from Kaizo Mario, and let's face it, lots of people did, because I was on the Something Awful Let's Play archive, and I saw him on there. <clears throat> and that led me to the Battletoads race, which led me to Nintendo Capri Sun, Super Genius, and Pico, who actually didn't make my list. Which is really sad, because I was thinking of Let's Players, and I thought of all sorts of people, but Pico never made my list. So I'm going to give him a plug now. Pico is freaking awesome. He is fucking insane. Pico is a goddamn nutter. Not that there's anything wrong with that. It's so entertaining. Does lots of voices and impressions, and oh god. And This is Capri Sun for Nintendo Capri Sun. Uh, the third core runaway guy... Um, Nintendo Capri Sun originally actually kind of annoyed me when I watched him, because I watched him with the Conqueror's Bad Fur Day with the, the in-the-bathroom counter, you know, and that got old, but, uh, just watching him enjoy that game and seeing him in his other LPs where he's not as obnoxious as the catchphrase, and seeing him with his friends, I mean, he seems to be one of the nicest guys, and he's very, very good. You wouldn't know it by watching with the Runaway Guys where he tends to perform dead last, it's just that in games like that, he's not as competitive as them, and <clears throat> he's mostly there to have fun, but he is staggeringly awesome at video games. Like, he's done doing, like, three heart runs of Zelda and whatnot. Now, uh, I don't know about Nintendo Capri Sun. I think he streams occasionally. Chugga, I don't think, does it all. John streams constantly, and I've watched several. And that kind of leads me to the next one, who I've also seen stream, which is Lukajim. And the only reason I'm going into famous Let's Players that I've barely, if at all, interacted with is because I've run out of Let's Players that I actually know. I, I have a very small group that I associate with. But Lukajin, I actually, uh, on one of John's streams, it's a small thing, but I'm going to go with it, I actually got her to uh, laugh at something. I made a joke that she caught on the stream that laughed. She was, John was doing this one thing, I think it was Skullgirls, and he had some kind of robot. And uh, Robot Girl that he was playing as. And they were making jokes about the Easy Bake Oven, and I made the, con the, 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 the line Easy Bake Boobs. And for some reason that absolutely amused the shit out of Luka Jim. And Genius for Super Genius. Uh, Lukajin and Super Genius are occasional Runaway Guys guest stars. I know Super Genius from the Battletoads video, which is probably the last thing he would want to be known for. Because <laughs> he fucking lost his shit on that. But it's so entertaining. Um, he's actually a very uh, calm Let's Player. Almost to the point where he seems medicated sometimes. But he's very entertaining. Uh, just got back from Japan, I believe. He used to... He lived there for like a year or two, I think. And then Jepsen. The other... A lot of people consider him to be the fourth core runaway guy. He's definitely a frequent guest star of them. Josh Jepsen. Ironically, I have not seen many of his videos. Very strange, that. Also, could have totally sworn that I had more money than this. Oh, well. Next one, we're going to go with uh, Skinner, one of my actual Let's Play partners. Uh, he is someone I hang out with. He doesn't have any videos of his own, because he doesn't have a channel of his own. And he actually has yet to ever be seen on my channel. 
So yeah, I'm short four cows. I'll have them by the next day. But look at this list. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm short... Yeah, I'm short four cows? Why four cows? Hold on. No, I'm short five cows. What the fuck am I talking about? I missed a cow somewhere. Let me look at the list real quick. I missed a cow. Where's it a goddamn cow? Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, there we go. Yeah, five cows. Anyway, not a big deal. Even this many is a huge thing. And even though it's more than a little wasteful, I am going to uh, feed all the troughs, just because. Just cause. Oh, please tell me I have... I do. Cool. Should have just enough to do the thing I want to do. happens. That's going to take such a long while to do all the cows. Not looking forward to that. It's really going to be absolute mayhem once I get in there with the cows and the sheep because there are going to be so many of them and it's going to be such a bitch to keep track of which one's which. And make sure that I talk to all of the cows. I need a girl's present. Yep, that's perfect. This is going to be uh, Papuri's birthday present. Now I close the livestock window. Oops. At least until the second, when I have money again. Yeah, here's the funny thing. I'm sitting here thinking, did I manage to get all of the um, the the seeds from Juan that I was supposed to do for summer? Yeah, dirt. Pineapples. All of them. All the pineapples that ever were. Ever. Ride him around for a little bit. So yeah, lesson learned. Crops will store in the basket overnight. Useful tip that. Oh god, so many cows, they're so cute. Unfortunately, now I have to get them all away from the things. Oh god, how am I ever gonna do this? There's so fucking many cows. Oh god, I didn't even see that one. No, don't mix with the other cows. I can't. So many cows. Talking to the wrong cows, but there we go. Oh, that's cute. Slow beef and diabetes were standing next to each other. I really hate this part. I really do. Many fucking cows. And it's entirely possible that I misspelled his name. I'm pretty sure it's Jepson and not Jepsen. And if I did, 
it's not like he's gonna watch this channel and notice. You know, if I'd been thinking, I should have named the Lucagen Cow Eggman. That's her thing. She's always like, I look just like Dr. Eggman. Which is self-deprecating humor. Yeah, you think it's bad now? Where do they all start producing milk? Oh my god, that's going to be a thing. It's going to be great financially, but oh, it's going to suck. Yarn. Now, I think the different size yarns are different colors. Let's find out. Are you going to be pink, yellow, blue, green, what? No, it's always pink. Okay, that's a thing. You know what? Let's not waste too much fodder, even though I've got it to waste. Let's see, we got 13, 14, 15. 15 total. So one full load here. Try not to spill any of it. God, I wish I were an editing kind of person, because I'd edit out all the cows. Just because this is going to be my day forever. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Wow. Of course it's 15. I'm missing five cows. That's why. Hate how stupid I am on video. It's fine to be stupid in person, but when you're stupid with evidence, that's just bad. Okay, so that's all the cows. So much for my plan that, hey, maybe I'll have enough left over that I can do, uh, do my grass. No, I didn't even have enough to get my fucking cows. Oh well, I'll have it tomorrow. I won't be able to use it tomorrow, but I'll have it tomorrow. Okay, let's get some farm work done, shall we? What's these? These are pineapples, so these go on this end. And I'm not going to need this just yet, so this can go here. Let me just double check real quick and look at my farm itself, see how bad the weeds have gotten. It's only got one thing to patch. Oh god, it's so hideous. All of the weeds. Okay, so I just gotta patch this one little block right here. This is corn. This is absolutely corn. Okay. Corn goes over here. Corn goes in the cornfield. Let's hope for lots of rain next summer. And by lots of rain, like, every day that can rain, let's have it rain. Because this is a big field, I'm tired of watering it. Also, really need to start befriending Grace soon. Let me just double check before I fill out the rest of the field that I got the uh, the bamboo shoots and all that. Because every little bit counts when you're broke. I'll tell you one thing, I've been making the most out of my money. That's for sure. 
Speaking of which, how much did I make this month? Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I've been making the most out of it, but I've still been turning out a fucking loss. Wow, that's a lot of money. Both coming in and going out. And it hasn't helped that every single time I get it, it goes right back out. Ugh. But at least I'm using it, right? Right. It's not going to waste. God, I wish the pineapple would come in today. But at least I'll have all of my cows soon. Tomato seeds. And onions. I do like the little red bag. It's kind of cute. I do like that all but uh, two of the summer crops, the other one I think being pumpkins. I don't know because I never really plant pumpkins. But I think all but the pumpkins are uh, renewable crops, so they just plant constantly, you know? Pretty soon I am going to need to befriend Gray because I want to do his event. Plus, I want him to weed the farm for me because it looks like a shithole. As soon as I get the money, I'm gonna pack this in full of grass. Because the, the back field, that can wait, but I want the, the actual planting field to look nice. So I don't have big old weeded patches to get in my way where... Because when I harvest, it's a mad scramble, and I can't be tripping over weeds. It's just not a good thing. Again, you can plant one day in advance to sneak an extra day in on your crops. Um, but if you do it sooner, the seeds will die the next day. Basically, when you go to bed, when you wake up in the morning, any seeds that are not the proper season will just die in the dirt. You know? So the day before a season change, any day, or any season except for winter going into spring, you can pre-plant seeds. And the reason you can't do it in winter is because there's nowhere to plant it. I tried, just to be sure if I could or not. But yeah, those who, who watch know that the field ceases to exist in wintertime. I mean, unless you know where it is and know exactly what you're looking for at nighttime, you won't even know where it is. Damn, that's a good amount. And I actually managed to finish a little bit in the green. Woohoo! Not by much, though. God. I really played my accounts close that year. Or that season, rather. Anyway, uh, now that the barn is full the way it is, you're about to see why it matters that you have so much grass. Because when it's full full... I'm going to be chewing through 20 fodder a day. And that's a freaking lot. Just a quick math in my head, I think that's something along the lines of 600 fodder a season. Again, that's a lot. That is not an insignificant amount. So, if you do not go into winter with a fully stocked uh, larder, your cows are going to fucking starve, and so are your sheep. So, you're probably going to have to buy stuff. Now, me, I tend to be self-sufficient enough that, that I'll probably never need to buy fodder again. Because by the time winter comes, I will have a fully stocked thing, and I will have a fully stocked field. And on the last day of fall, I will harvest grass. Now, again... For the sake of this event only, we're going to do the thing. Because this one kind of requires me to uh, win. Like, a lot. And I'm pretty sure I can. I almost did last time. I don't think it's going to take me more than one try. So yeah, don't get used to it, but this is one of those rare sights of me saving in the middle of an episode. 
Okay, um, please, please, please show me rain or sun tomorrow. It's one of those rare cases where I've never been so happy to see the sun. Dog. 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 Fucking dog. Ah, just so, just because I'm cheating doesn't mean you have to be that ashamed of me. All right, let's take a quick peek outside at the crops that are happening. Yep, see, they're good. Now, just to pass the time, I'm going to water these, but I'm not going to do anything more. Simply because I don't know how many times I'm going to be doing this day, you know? And I don't want to go through all of my chores for nothing. But again, while a full barn of cows and two sheep seems overkill, and it can be, there is the fact that they will provide... I'm going to say, when they're all producing large milk, which will take pretty much the entire year to get to, I will not need to plant at all. I can just live off the, the cheese. Which kind of sounds like uh, how I do my shopping. <laughs> You don't understand how much cheese I go through. I am such a cheese fiend, it's not even funny. Yeah, we just gotta make it through a couple more days, and then we get more food in the house. Yay! I'm really glad that I saved this because I just pissed a bunch of money away. I'm gonna go right back in and pretend that never happened. You have no idea how mad I would be if I hadn't just saved there and I had done something that fucking stupid. So we're going to do this again with significantly less fail and less dog fail. Oh, God. Yeah, I was letting my mind wander. I'm still trying to figure out what we're going to do about uh, the bills this week, or this month, rather. Basically, everything relies on my roommate getting a job, like within a week so we can start getting a check back in <coughs> or my niece starting to get her check either way we need another income in this house in the worst fucking way and I wish I could say this is a joke but it's literally at the point where me and my roommate are playing the lottery once a week just trying to get something to pad those bills out with. If only it was as, as easy as tossing freaking pineapples in the ground and watering them every day for 20 days, right?
I mean, it's the point where I'm basically going to start sending him to day labor because we can't afford him not to. But that's neither here nor there. And that's probably... That, that's something that I tend to save for this week in Kyrex. I'm just scattered at the moment. Yeah, ironically, I'm not getting bored with the game, I'm just running out of shit to talk about because these videos are so long. And I can talk about the same thing from video to video, but... Because I do that sometimes, but Jesus Christ, these videos go on forever. Now, we put them in the fridge, and this is exactly the thing I said I wasn't going to do. You know what? Fuck it, I don't care. You know what, screw it, I'm just gonna walk around with pineapples in my backpack all day. I don't care. But yeah, tomorrow's gonna be an awesome day. I'm gonna toss in all the pineapples that I harvested today. I'm gonna get my money, I'm gonna get those new cows. And then I'm going to start saving up for my, um, grass. Although I'm not going to start planting the grass until such time as I can tell uh, when these things start to sprout so I'm not accidentally watering the wrong weird stuff. Not to say that I don't have to water the grass for a while too, but... That's different, that's something I can do in the off hours. Well, so is this, but you know what I mean. But yeah, usually I will not save in the middle of a video just to keep myself from save scumming. This time I got away with it because that power berry is a once a year thing. And I want to get it this year. I wanted to get it last year, but and I almost did. Watch that video. It wasn't until the last step when I suddenly petered out and came in like fourth. So, yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's get this over with so I can have to reload the save, because that's probably what's going to happen, because it's one of those days. Again, talk to everybody, because it helps your relationship value. Generally speaking, you always talk to the mayor last. Oh, it matters that I win this year. Yeah, I farmed. You know, I think I made that exact same joke last year. <laughs> I don't like the ocean, and I think I've said that in the last thing, too. I I don't. I don't like anything about it. I don't like the sand, because it's not like, say, sandbox sand, where it's nice and and uh, just, oh, what is it, fine. It's not fine sand. It's not even dirt. It's got debris everywhere. And the only trade-up of beach sand versus sandbox sand is there's no cat shit in it, usually. But uh, then you've got the water. I don't like the, the smell of it. I don't like the, the critters in it. If you get it in, in your mouth, it tastes horrible. It's just ugh. And it's too fucking bright. Oh, God, I hate the bright.
Why go to the beach when you can go to the pool? See, I'm glad he retold me this because I was thinking it was circle button to rest. All right, Otacon. Hi, fish. Wish me luck, viewers. Woohoo! Oh, I tore through that this time. See, it's not that hard once you know that you don't that you hold triangle and not press it. It's just that I never had the trial and error time to do that until I did emulators. Now, of course, since I won, my reputation with the entire town went up, and this happens. No. <laughs> Yeah, two of them. <laughs> oh, I'm fine. I just had a flower berry. I do have to wonder, though. I know the farming doesn't affect it, but does the power berries I have affect my stamina? Okay, first you breathe in, then you breathe out. I do. <laughs> no, it's just weird, the idea that people, especially May's age, don't know how to swim. And you might be saying, but Kyra, she's a kid. Yeah, you don't understand. Everyone in my family could swim before we could uh, completely walk properly. I mean, we, we're just fucking, we, we take to the water like fish. Everybody in my family does. My niece is actually teaching a couple of the neighbor kids to swim. Now, of course, we all have different confidence levels in the water, but... Oh, every one of us swims, including my nephews. I am awesome. We're going to forget that pineapple inside didn't even happen. Sorry, big guy. And now I go back to work. Fortunately, I go back to work with full stamina. Because power berry! It even puts me in the house where I can put the, the freaking pineapples away. Woohoo! In case you're wondering, I picked the pineapples so that uh, tomorrow they will resume growing back in so I can get them again. Very important that that's a thing. Back up to nine pineapples. Also, got to do the chickens, the cows, grab my honey, etc. Get the red grass, even though I don't care about it. It's probably in a recipe somewhere, too. Literally, at some point when I have the fridge fully stocked, I'm just going to go down the list of recipes and just make one of everything. Some of the recipes are huge, like curry has, apparently there's an infinite number of ways to make curry, which makes sense. Never had curry. From what I understand, it's spicy, and it's got rice in it, so those two things right there pretty much disqualify me from it. But, you never know.
It's nice to be doing this without having to sleep right away. Uh... Now I did water these, right? Did. Thought so, just wanted to check. Again, only two power berries left. The one for the horse race, which is going to be next year's. And, um, and if I don't have enough money to get it next year, then it's probably going to be one of those things that I do the, um, the 100% part for. And the other thing is the one I catch in the ocean, which I will be doing maybe this season. Who knows? Actually, it'll probably happen in summer, or in winter time, because I think it can happen whenever. I don't think it's necessarily catch it in summertime. You can look, though. Let's look, just to be sure. Because we've established there's not a lot to do in wintertime. Uh, ocean. Yeah, catch power berry while fishing in the ocean. So it doesn't say in summer, spring, fall, or winter. It just happens. So yeah, I'll probably just do all my chores and go fishing until I catch it. You know? There is actually a thing I can do that I never did during the hurricanes in this one. But it is a thing. You can get uh, a perfume bottle. A bottle of perfume that you can give to one of the girls. For big affection points. something like that. There's something. I don't know if you find a bottle or you have to bring him a bottle or what, but something involving hurricanes and perfume. And by him, I'm referring to Kai, because Kai does it. Yeah, that would have been important to uh, mention. You know what? While I'm here, let's grab the honey. Honey, honey, honey. It's weird saying that word at all now, because that's what the new kitten's name is. Then she and Kisa are finally not in each other's faces. They can look at each other without fighting or well, hissing. They haven't ever fought. We haven't allowed them to. It's bound to happen eventually. I mean, even when we had chocolate and vanilla, the two dogs, well, we still have vanilla. But even as well as they get along, there were a couple times when they just tore into each other for no reason. They just had had enough of each other. They had some doggy beef and had to get it out in the open. The eggs are not worth bringing in, so I'm not gonna. They're just kind of a pain in the ass, really. I was actually about to check my money, and then I realized, oh yeah, you haven't done anything. Now this is actually one of the best times to care for the cows, just because they're going to stay put. Probably all lined up, too. Or maybe they're not going to stay put yet. I really do hate this part. If it weren't for the fact that I need to do this to raise their affections, to get better milk, I would just let the Harvest Sprites do this. I really would. Because... It's so time-consuming, and if you miss one cow... And right now it's not as bad, because I have only two adults. But pretty soon they're all going to be... Oh, Jesus, I don't even want to see that screen. The screen just fills me with sadness.
Yeah, part of me keeps wanting to store cheese, and then I realize, oh yeah, just store milk, because milk can be milk, cheese, or butter. As needed, whereas cheese can only be cheese. Not that there's ever anything wrong with cheese. If you find something wrong with cheese as a, as a whole, then just realize that you're wrong. So many cows. Shouldn't have done that yet. The other reason I don't really let the harvest sprites take care of the animals is because they don't toss stuff, I don't think, into the cheese maker, for example. I think they just milk the cows and straight into the thing with them. Which costs me a small fortune, you know? You know what? Screw it. I'll get the eggs, too. Money is money, and you never know when you need it. I know I'm not going to need this many eggs for things in general, but you never know. I could need them for money. Emergency money is always good. These little protein pellets are worth quite a bundle, actually. It's like a thousand bucks or two thousand yeah two thousand for the lot of them as mayonnaise soon to be even more for the golden ones part of me kind of wonders how insane it would be to play long enough to have ten golden egg laying chickens ten golden milk giving cows and ten golden fleece giving sheep and just turning them loose. And again, part of me wants to store eggs as mayonnaise, but why? When all I gotta do is bring them out here and toss them in the machine, and they're good. You know what? We're eating the extras. Fuck it. We're doing it live. Give me that. You know what, we're eating these ones too. I don't care. I'm gonna spa boil them first though. There, now I have some red grass. Actually, before I do that, because I'm pretty sure there are two here. And I want them both. Again, do not eat the red grass. It is poisonous and it will damage you. I don't think I'll use it for anything, but I want it anyway, just in case. Something might actually call for it. Japanese people eat all sorts of weird poisonous shit. Look at pufferfish. Look at... I think it's called fugu. You cook that wrong, you will die. That's not even an exaggeration. It's like, well, maybe you'll get, you'll probably get real sick. Maybe you'll die. No, no. You'll definitely get really sick, and you'll absolutely fucking die. And I might just be going off the Simpsons episode here, but I don't think there's an antidote for it either. Once you get it, you're just dead. I don't know how long it takes. Could take it an hour. In the Simpsons episode where Homer did it, he ate, uh, he basically had 24 hours to live. Which further reinforces my idea that uh, there's no antidote, because 24 hours is a very long time 
to get the antidote for your body, even from any, almost anywhere in the country or in the world. You could even get it from New Zealand, which is a fucking 20-hour plane ride. That still leaves you four hours to spare. Which, admittedly, is not a lot of time. But... Show me something that's not a hurricane! Woo! Yay! Okay. Dog. Dumb dog. Come get it. Good boy. Speaking of good boy, I'm so proud of the real Kisa for being good with that kitten now. Seriously, it's it's not even an exaggeration to say he is five times her weight. He dwarfs that kitten. Ooh, strawberry seeds. That's the all-important invitation. You must have that. Or she will not let you in. Fortunately, I'm almost positive that that can be stored in here. And yep, there we go. Oh god. Here we go. It's that time again. Wow, those those friggin' tomatoes come in fast. Then again, they gotta be in time for the harvest festival, so that kinda makes sense actually. Forget I said anything. You see, the beautiful thing is there's no reason to ever store milk or eggs on a, a possible harvest day because there are plenty of days where you can't harvest at all or you can just put the milk in there, you know? I mean, now, that's not to say never put milk or eggs because sometimes you need an omelet, you know? It's like, oh, I need an omelet now for the cooking festival. Well, grab an egg. Or, oh no, it's Anne's birthday, need an omelet, grab an egg, you know? I need a cake for reasons, well, get some fucking milk and eggs. I wish I could plant a cocoa tree. Something. Make some damn chocolate. Which I think you can actually do in later Harvest Moon games, I think you can actually do that in Magical Melody. You can plant trees all over the place. The only problem is they don't consistently give anything, really. Sometimes you get fruit, sometimes you don't. And it's seasonal as well. Oh, no. I've got that apple tree, too, don't I? Just more shit to harvest. Fall's gonna suck. It's really gonna suck for me, because that's just gonna be the month. You know? The one where everything happens whether I want it to or not. How much money do I have? I have more than enough. Wow, that's a lot of money. That's right, I had one more chunk of uh, fucking cabbages before spring ended, that's right. I'm sitting here thinking I might have 400 left. No, I've got a lot left. But yeah, the strawberry seeds are in because, as you can see, I had a very, very lucrative spring. Jesus, that's a lot of turnips. And again, things like this are the reason I want the grass seeds planted, because this has to stop.
And everybody's favorite mechanic, make the livestock happy. God, I wish I had easy editing software that didn't take fucking three hours to process. So that I actually could edit. If, if it took me, say, a half an hour per video, I probably would edit. But it doesn't. It takes me, like, it takes the length of the video and then some. Everyone used to wonder why I, uh, why I get so pissy when people interrupt my recordings. And it's one thing to get a phone call and have to mute the microphone, or to knock on my door and give me a chance to mute the microphone. But, for example, just yelling my name through the house, then, uh, that causes me to have to edit. And I tell them, and they don't fucking understand, to fix a three-second blip of dialogue. It, no, to fix a two-second blip of dialogue of saying my name, which is two syllables. To fix two syllables is, on average, three hours of work. Because it involves loading it up into my editing software, which is the old-school Windows Movie Maker, because that's what I'm good with. Then I find the offending dialogue, clip it out, and depending on how much time it took up or where it is, I might redub something over it. One time it happened during a transition, I just left it alone. And then I save that file, and then run it through XSplit again, which involves the entire length of the video itself. In short, it can take all day to fix one minor screw-up. People wonder why I get so angry about it, because it ruins my day. In the time it takes to fix one video, I can record two or three. And everybody in the house knows it. Because I will get right up your ass about it and say, okay, I'm on step three of like four of fixing this. And it is one of the few things someone can do to get me seriously pissed off. I mean, the, the list of things to get me pissed off is small, but it's a thing. It does exist. I don't even think my roommates see me mad yet. My niece has once. She was actually on the receiving end of it, and as she put it, it just scared the shit out of her. Because here's the thing, I, I'm normally a quiet, docile person. I really am. I, it doesn't show in the videos. But then again, these videos also exist to frustrate me in a very real way. Please move so I can feed you. So, and even these videos, I don't get mad mad. If I got mad, I probably would have broke something. But, uh, I went off on her once, and her friend was actually over at the house at the time, and she was, she stepped outside, because my niece was yelling, and as soon as I went off, she's in the room, she's like, nope, not dealing with this. That's above my pay grade. But the reason it comes out of nowhere is because people are used to me being... I'm loud, but I'm not forceful for the most part. And even when I yell, I'm generally not forceful. But when I go off, it's... Oh, it's a thing. Yeah, I think starting Monday we're going to try and get my roommate to... Uh, on day labor. We gotta, gotta pad the income, man. Not a lot we can do other than that, really. And the only reason I've been doing lottery tickets at all is because it's a relatively small investment for a decent enough payoff, like my aunt several times has won thousands off scratch-offs. 
At this point, a thousand would knock out all of my bills. I don't need to win big, I just need to win, you know? I'm not playing the lottery expecting, oh, I'm going to be the next millionaire. No, I just want to get just enough money to pay my bills and maybe get McDonald's afterwards to celebrate. I don't know. Yeah, this is hard on me because I'm normally so adaptive. I can, I can think my way out of just about anything and there's nothing to think. There's nothing to do. There's no way to MacGyver my way out of this situation and it's just tearing me up because I've hit the limit of what I'm capable of and I don't like how low that limit seems to be right now. Though not to sell myself too short, I've managed to get us this far from February to July with very few problems. I mean, hell, if he can get a job, <clears throat> even if I gotta get an extension on stuff, we'll be good by next month, you know? The problem is, we gotta get past that one part of, well, when he gets a job. And my friend the Heroclix judge keeps yelling at me like it's my fucking fault. Like, well, you can't manage your finances! I'm like, you fucking idiot. The, re the fact that I can manage my finances is the only reason I'm not homeless right now. Because I promise you, in this same situation, he would be so fucked. He's like, well, I wouldn't get in that situation. I do this, I do this. I'm like, there's only so much money I'm physically capable of getting before I lose my check, at which point, yeah. So, he, he just doesn't fucking understand. The thing that makes me laugh is every time he claims, well, I've been poor too, I'm like, not, not recently enough for it to count. You don't know what poor is anymore, and he really doesn't. He thinks he does, but he fucking doesn't. He is the fucking poster child for first world problems, you know? Like, he, he's the guy, and he has this wonderful disconnect. Like, he is the guy who uh, hates places that, as he puts it, just screw over their workers, but shops exclusively at places like that. Like, uh, after one of our tournaments, like, three weeks ago, he wanted to stop by the mall and pick up some sandals, because he wanted a specific kind of sandal. And he couldn't get it online, etc., you know? So we went to, like, three different shoe stores, or not shoe stores, but department stores in the mall that had a men's shoe section. And he was talking with this one girl about... See, I hesitate to mention a place because I don't remember specifically which one it was. And I don't want to slander a store, you know? I don't want to say something about a store that's not true about it. But basically, they have this commission system where you make commission, but what they don't tell you is that uh, you're getting fees on top of that, and when you don't make a certain amount, you kind of go into a debt, you know? That you got to dig yourself out of the hole before you start really making money. And he keeps talking about what a scumbag practice that is. He has no problem shopping there. He's like, well, I'm just supporting the workers. I'm like, well, that's what you're doing at Walmart, too. You're either supporting the store that puts the workers in that condition in the first place, or you're supporting the workers by giving them the money. You know? It's like, yes, it's commission, but paychecks matter too. And if they don't sell enough stuff, they lay people off. You know? But that's not even the thing. Is I can see Walmart having bad business practices, but when you're poor, Walmart is about the only thing you can do. Like... I couldn't do the shopping that we do at Publix, and I can't do it at Big Lots. Big Lots has the prices, but not the selection. Like, I can only do, as far as groceries go, I can do snack foods and canned foods at Big Lots. And I do. A lot. 
But anything bigger than that, you got to go to Walmart for it, or Publix, or Save a Lot. And Save a Lot deals mostly in generics that usually don't taste as good. And Publix costs like three to four dollars more than Walmart does. And when you're on food stamps and a limited income, that's a death sentence. But again, this is the guy who uh, deals with companies that work with actual sweatshop things. Like, oh, I'm going to go to this big department store style outdoor mall. And it's got nothing but fucking Foot Locker, like Reebok and Nike and just all these super name brand, super sweatshop thing where they pay him like a penny an hour and cost like $150 for their shoes. I'm like, well, I can't believe you buy them. Well, they're so cheap here. Yeah, because they're scumbag and they're workers even more. And I even asked them, like, do you honestly think the people who work at these stores? Because it's not like, oh, I'm at Walmart and I'm buying Nikes. No, you're at the fucking Nike store. And I said, do you honestly think the workers here can even afford to buy the, the products here? He's like, well, no, but... I'm like, but what? But I really want the shoes. I'm like, then either get off your high horse or... Don't be a fucking scumbag about it, you know? Either go without the shoes, or don't be a hypocrite about it. Don't bitch at me for getting my my subsistence food at Walmart when you go out and buy fucking Nikes at the Nike store in a fucking discount mall. And by the way, when I say discount, they're discounted to like 60 bucks instead of 130 you know? Don't let the word discount in that fool you even in the slightest. There's still three times what I would pay for shoes. And at Christmas time, they make fucking pilgrimages there. Because I know because I go with them. Because they're like, hey, we're going to go shop up there. and Because it's right across the street. We're going to hit the, the, the Hungry Howie's buffet. So I go for the pizza, which I tend to have to wait six fucking hours for. Plus the two hour drive. And watch them shop at basically, the only way to describe it is the rich man's flea market. Because it's shit that I would n almost never buy. They've got like a toy store of stuff, but it's all shirts and t-shirts, uh, shirts and t-shirts, yeah. Shoes and t-shirts and jeans and stuff that I would never really do. I don't do, like, name brands at all, especially name brand shoes. I don't do pants unless it's cold and then I do sweatpants, you know? I'm a shorts person. What the heck's complaining? But it just the the disconnect he has drives me nuts. It's a magical type of hypocrisy. I mean, here's the thing. I love animals. I love meat. I'm under no illusions as to where and how that meat comes to me. I at least understand that there is a natural order to things, that some animals are food. It sucks, it's shitty, but some animals are food to other animals. Well, all animals at some point... Ex Except, as I put it, the animals taken out of the, the food chain by humans are food for something. Even if you're the apex predator, something's going to eat you when you die. It's just natural order of things. It's the way things are. Ugh, still not making enough for those cows yet. Not all of them, at least. Well, the next pineapple harvest should be in a couple days, and I'll get them then. Also, really? Also, today is Papuri's birthday. But yeah, my, my own internal justification for the animals is something's going to eat them. May as well be me.
Now that being said, I'm fully behind. Someone passes a petition or something, or tries to get something started to, oh, make it so that the cows, the chickens, the pigs, the sheep, the whatever you eat, go through more humane conditions they are not fucking puppy-milled into existence, where they live in cramped cages and can't do anything. Yes, let them have humane lives. Let them have good lives. You know? I mean, they're, they're the food that sustains us. The least they can have is a good life while they have it. I don't care if the cruelty fucking doubles the flavor. Be nice to the animals, but... In the end, let's face facts. Unless you cremate the remains, every cow you see on that farm is gonna be eaten. If not by a human, even if it's not... A, like, if it's a dairy cow and it's not meant for meat, something's gonna eat it. Either it's going to get killed by coyotes or something and they'll eat it. Or it'll die from natural causes and fucking vultures and ants and all sorts of scavengers will eat it. Or it'll get old and the farm will eat it, you know? That's just the way things work. And again, the only way to remove it from this is to absolutely obliterate the animal's remains. Usually via cremation, because as far as I know, we don't have anything on the planet that eats ash. Well, mixed in with food, yes, but I mean, as a thing, like, oh no, it's the ash mites, they're eating all the ash! Well, that's, to my knowledge, that's not a thing. Could be completely wrong, but I don't think it's a thing. Okay, have that already. Double checking these. Don't think anything's come of these yet. Nope. I mean, here's a here's an uncomfortable thing. Unless you're cremated or launched into space or something, you're gonna get munched on something too. Something's gonna break into that coffin and nom nom nom. And even if nothing does, then uh, bacteria will do it. You are gonna be numbed. It's a thing. Whether it's microscopic or macroscopic, something's gonna eat you. I mean, if it weren't for the fact that it could cause all sorts of problems, I've toyed with the idea of, when I die, having my remains turn into dog food, or something like that. Except... I don't want animals developing a taste for people. That kitten bit me hard enough without having a taste for people. Seriously, you cannot imagine how badly this kitten messed me and my niece up when we were trying to bathe her the other day. I mean, I'm still... I've got really nasty bite on my finger. It looks like I someone took a staple remover to me. You know those little... Staple removers that look like those little fangs, you know? Yeah, it looks like someone took one of those to my finger. Hurts, too. Not as bad as it did yesterday. And certainly not as bad as when it happened, but, uh, oh, it, it stings. It's not fun. Do not recommend being mauled by a kid. It sounds adorable. Really not. The fucked up thing is she's only got, like, three teeth right now because she's still a baby. Unfortunately, they're the really sharp meat-slicing teeth. Why couldn't she have just had her molars or something, you know? Something that wouldn't leave such deep physical wounds. But Puri can wait a little bit. My chores won't take that much longer. It's not like she's hard to find, either. That's almost certainly for me, yep. I don't know. Yeah, that's the uh, hero clicks judge. Told him I was recording and I'll. He's like, yeah, give me a call when you're done. I'm like, yeah, I should be done in about a half an hour. If that. Not a lot to do today. I've done most of it. 
The good news is the early part of the season is the part where you get away with stuff. You know? Because after this, I just take care of the cows and it's off to bed. Not really a whole lot else going on yet. So, take care of the livestock, visit Papuri, give her her present. Shit, I missed a thing. Well, I gave Harris his present last year, I believe. Could have sworn there were three types of presents. Maybe I'm thinking of Friends in Mineral Town. That's the problem, is Friends in Mineral Town and Harvest Moon Back to Nature are almost the same game, because it's based on this. And there are little tiny changes. Very tiny. But they exist. Like, uh, one of my personal favorites is you can get extra houses. I think there are three? Let me just, uh... Like, for example, right here, this becomes a house. This lot right here. And maybe there's one near the square or on the beach or something. I don't know. It's a very minor thing, though. But again, Summer 3 is Papuri, uh, Summer 4 is Harris, and I completely forgot to get him some wine, so he's just not getting one this year. I got him one last year, I think. And either way, I've called attention to it, so. Yeah, I don't think I have many best friends in this village that aren't girls, but at least everyone gets along with me. I, I have been raising... Relationship value slowly but surely. I do at least bond with people during the festivals. And again, hopefully in year three, that'll be more of a thing. In year four, I might not even plant crops at all. I really might not. I mean, let's face facts. By year four... I'll have done everything. I'll have planted all the side crops and everything, you know, because year three is going to be pretty much entirely the, um, the special crops. Like, it's going to be spinach, it's going to be um, pumpkins, it's going to be strawberries, and nothing else, really. So, I don't know, I'm running out of shit to do. By year four, I might subsist entirely off of cows and chickens. And just have enough crops and stuff stored up that I can just give presents and be friends with the townspeople every day. Again, assuming I do a year four. Of course, by then, if I get to year four, that means I beat the game, so I don't really need to be friend to anybody. I can just litter all day and no one will do a goddamn thing about it. You know? Let's feed them first this time. This will get even worse when I get those last five, because it'll take three trips to the feed bin. Shit. Fortunately, I'm not so bad off in the fodder department, especially since I just harvested. Yeah, I, I can afford to waste a couple. So it's not a huge ordeal right now. But yeah, that's the judge. He probably wants to play Pox Nora. Which I can do. Can't skip straight to the harvest. Gotta gotta tease the animals a little bit. I wonder why the sheep come to you fully grown, but the cows do not. Kind of ticks me off that cows are kind of a money sink. I mean, they make up for it, don't get me wrong. They absolutely do, otherwise this would be a barn full of sheep instead. But cows start out as kind of a money sink. I mean, they, they take up space. Oh boy, do they take up space. And they don't produce for like a week or two, maybe a month. 
the upside is they produce every day, where sheep come in fully grown and ready to be harvested on. Just right off the bat. Unfortunately, we only do it once a week. Which is annoying. The upside to that being you get a lot of money when you harvest from them. Thank you, Fee. Why were you so difficult just then? Again, there was a justification for using Fee as a sheep. Um, diabetes as a sheep was just because... I don't know why. I just like the idea of slow beef and diabetes being different. I'll try it. I already brushed him. Oh, I already fed them. Like, where's the rest of the food? But I already did that. Okay. Did we get everybody else done it? Down here. Let me at least get the cheese. That's the whole reason I got you all. Put in the infinite cheese code. Oh, God, how I wish I had the ability to just get all of this cheese. I mean, just... I, I wish I could live in the Harvest Moon world. I really do. Where I could just have cheese every fucking day. And have it as simple as, oh, let me milk the cow for a couple of seconds, and then let me toss it into this magic machine that turns milk into cheese instantly. Then again, time stops indoors. For all we know, this takes three hours. Move! Never get between me and cheese. It's a bad place to be. Especially when the cheese is my current livelihood, because the pineapples haven't come in. Did I water them? That's a question. Did I water the pineapples? Pretty sure I did. Let's double check to be sure. Okay, okay. Leaving those unwatered is not an option. My derpy ass never collected all those pineapples, did he? No, I did not. I totally left them in the fucking fridge. That's why I'm sitting here thinking, I should have had money. Why don't I have money? Because I didn't put the fucking pineapples in the bin yet. Because I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot who doesn't know how to play Harvest Moon. Two of these, that's gotta be, um, sixteen hundred? Sixteen thousand? I don't know, but it's a lot. Either way, it should be enough to cover my last five cows, no problem. Or close enough. Probably be able to start off Sunday with new cows. Zach's threshold for, wow, this is a lot, kids. Now that I actually know where to get medium fish, now that I know there is a specific place to get medium fish, I thought it was just fish came from where fish came from, it was just a matter of where you preferred to fish. 
But now that I know there's a, that it actually matters, it's probably not going to be that hard for me to get medium fish in the future. You know, I can't remember what Saturdays you're placed with when you have all the cooking stuff. I think it's something just minor. Check your money. Yeah, that should be enough to get my final cows. Actually, no, I should be able to get Officer Harris in present. Oh yeah, that's the rest of my cows right there. That's all of my cows, plus some wine for him. Yeah, that'll do it. So, about that uh, thing. What's your passion? That basically comes back now. That's right, what's your passion used to be the thing. And then home shopping happened, and then what's your passion have to get... Now, this is important. What is next week? Nothing. Okay. Oh, all the... Really? I missed Josh Jepsen and Nintendo Capri Sun. I missed them, huh? I didn't miss feeding them. I know that much. Didn't even check the fish numbers. Oh, the fish are definitely breeding now. Go fish. That was an unintentionally horrible pun. And I kind of regret it, because I'm not a punster, really. Not my type of humor. It, it can occasionally be really funny. But it doesn't really do it for me. You know? Another one that doesn't usually do it for me is Insult Comics. I mean, like, I do like Lisa Lampanelli, who has that as a big part of her act, but it's not all of her act, you know? I mean, she'll go through and she'll insult the audience for a couple minutes, and then she gets on to her real act. But a guy who just stands there and tells you what an idiot you are all day, eh, no, it's not my type of humor. I mean, it has its place, and there are really good people at it. Like, one of my personal favorites, as far as uh, teasing the audience, was uh, D.L. Hughley was heckling his audience. And he sees this one really dark guy in the audience. Like, he's, as he put it, uh, Oh, I ain't making fun of you. You, you black as hell. You, you dark as shit. You'll go outside at night, or you, you'll catch me outside of the thing, close your eyes, beat the shit out of me. White people won't even be able to tell the cops what happened. It's like the night just kept hitting him. It was the night. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's funny. That's funny as shit. The guy is laughing his ass off, you know? And that's the other thing about comedy with insult comics is everyone has to have fun. If you're in on the joke, oh yeah, it's awesome. But if you're not, then it's kind of fucking mean. Oh, Jesus. Never talk to her before the, the thing opens. Or this happens. Yeah, the problem with this is there's such a narrow window of time when they're actually open. And it sucks more than a little bit. Yeah, 9 to 12. It's a, it's a freaking three-hour window. And that's not a lot of time. Not a lot of time at all. Just so I know, I left off with, uh, no, with Skinner. On the livestock chart.
Woman! You're closed on Saturdays, aren't you? I could've sworn you were closed on Sundays. You're fucking closed on Saturdays, aren't you? Oh, that sucks if that's true. Yup, that was a waste of my time. Well, I needed to be out of here anyway. Guess Officer Harris really isn't getting that gift, because I don't know what he likes, and I don't have time to look it up. So unless he's a fan of the spa-boiled egg, he's not getting anything. You know what? He actually might be a fan of spa-boiled eggs. Don't feel like looking for it, though. Okay. Happy birthday, Officer Harris. Oh, fuck it. You're getting a spa-boiled egg. You're here. I do like the fact that he is such a busy guy. He's a police officer and he makes the rounds. He patrols everywhere except my farm. Sure, don't let me, the, the biggest money maker around, uh, be under scrutiny to protect my livelihood or anything. I'm about to say, then again, I do have that big axe, but so does the woodsman and he, he fucking camps there. Lots of people surprisingly like this. This is probably a thing in Japan. Let's go to the fucking hot springs, fry an egg. I'm sorry. I just don't get a lot of things about Japanese culture, like the, the concept of the hot springs. Then again, I live in Florida. It just comes that way. My pool right now is probably 80 degrees, but the complex? Oh, it's... vaguely nightmarish, to be perfectly honest. I don't think he's ducked into Gotz's cottage yet, but I'll swing by and check. Actually, doesn't he wait until 11 to open? Want me to find out? Well, there's a couple ways to find out. Yeah, he doesn't even open until 11, so he's definitely not in the cottage. Happy birthday! Thank you, Officer Harris. And I, I think they only do that when they're friends with you, so that's a good sign that I've been getting so many recipes. That I've got everyone's relationships up high enough that they do that. Okay, Barley, you, me, and the cows. Let's do this. There is. I need some more cows. You didn't sell me enough last time. Need more cows. Okay, this one. Another person from my channel. This is a Snipe. This is a friend of mine. We've been friends since first grade. We go way back. I was the best man at his wedding. We have done Resident Evil 6 together, which again hasn't been aired. And I can't even find my copy of Resident Evil 6, so I'm looking for that thing. Um... Pretty sure I'm spelling this right. This is Devin. I don't know if he has projects of his own that he does, but he uh, is one of Henri's friends. He's guested on Henri's channel with Cards Against Humanity. Him, me, and Jay play uh, a lot. We haven't in a while. We need to. We really need to play cards again. Speaking of Jay, another person from my channel, Jay, my friend from California. He is very shy and hesitant to do stuff on camera, but he has done a couple things, none of which have really aired yet, which is we did some of Batman Arkham Asylum, which we're probably going to restart. We did uh, a blind watch for him of, oh, what's it called, G Gundam, and we need to restart that, well not restart but resume, etc. Now, he also played Cards Against Humanity with me and Henri. This is Sammy, another friend of mine. She goes by Samantha, typically. I've been calling her Sammy for years. She is, again, from my channel. We have been doing the blind watches of My Little Pony, with her going in blind and me not. 
and I believe this is her boyfriend, Adam. Also, again, on my channel, this has not aired yet, but they are recorded, we are recorded all the way up to season two, or all the way up to the start of season three, we need to do the season premiere, but we have started that, and that's, I believe that's everything. Oh, you sell me the bell. Okay. Okay, then. Well, then I don't care. But yeah, that's the last of the livestock. I'm done. Aside from my grass, that's the last big purchase of the game. Kind of weird. Um... That brings me... Jesus Christ! Apparently cows account for a lot. I am 6% away from the goal for year two. Jesus fucking Christ, what have I done? You've won the game, that's what you've done. Yeah, I'm thinking, oh, maybe I'm up to like 50%. No, no, fucking 60. Oh my god. Well, that was a spike. Sad thing is, that number's probably been staring me in the face all day, and I didn't realize it. Because I haven't been looking at my percentages. It's not something that changes often enough to really justify watching. But yeah, again, uh, pretty soon, when all the cows start producing... That's going to lead to an avalanche of free money. To the point where it won't even, it won't even matter if I forget to milk a couple of them. Because there's just going to be so much cheese pouring out. And that's the beautiful thing is I won't be able to forget to milk them because I'll have a concrete number. I'll know if I deliver anything less than two full loads of cheese that I'm missing a cow. Once this is done, I also gotta go check on the kitten. I can hear her crying and she's lonely or something. It's driving my niece nuts that uh, she won't really leave the bathroom. She does occasionally, but she pretty much lives in the bathroom. And she's not shut up anymore, because now Keith and her get along. Well, they don't kill each other, so that counts. But uh, she still doesn't want to go in the bathroom, because she was telling me originally, Oh, she doesn't think she can go anywhere else. It's torture to keep her in the bathroom. Like, it's not torture. She doesn't act tortured. She doesn't act scared in the bathroom. Aside from the first day when she hid under the toilet full time, now she just sits out in full view of everyone. And she doesn't try to escape. Bathroom door is open. So that's not a tortured cat. That's a cat who's quite content to be where she is. She's very happy to see people. But she doesn't particularly care to come out of the bathroom to see them. And some cats are one-room cats. It's not necessarily that, oh, they're tortured, it's just they only like the one room. Now, Kisa tends to wander, but he spends most of his time just in the hallway near my room because my door is shut and he can't get in. Because I haven't bought a cat door yet. But we suspect that uh, her previous owner kept her in the bathroom full time. Still, she is so content to be a house cat, it's not even funny. I mean, she's made no attempts to escape the house. Seems not even vaguely inclined to. She loves people. She's getting more comfortable with being held. She loves being petted. I mean, she's a born house cat. She really is. She has decided this is her lot in life, and we're all in agreement with her. She belongs in a house. Specifically, she belongs in our house. Pineapples watered. Yes, I know I check the pineapples three times a day. It's important.
Suppose I could be a non-neglectful owner and actually count how many cows I talk to. Or at least how many hearts I get from talking. Which, believe it or not, in all my years of playing this, has just now occurred to me. That's right, this is the first time it's ever occurred to me to keep track of how many cows I've spoken to. Now, fortunately, in case I'm forgetful, I think feeding them does increase their affection. Why, oh, there's so many cows. It's a sea of spots. Move. Move! And yes, that was partly intentional. And yes, I'm ashamed of myself. Properly so. so much easier if I could just feed the cow, chicken, and sheep in question. That was the way I did it on uh, Friends in Mineral Town. That's how I would keep track, is I would talk to them, feed them, milk them. You know, talk, feed, milk, talk, feed, milk. Or I'd talk, feed, brush, and then go back and milk them or something like that. My god, they're just... Oh, it's almost terrifying how many cows there are. Alright, come on. Be a good little randomite cow and go up here. Into the corner with you. Come on, all of you. Hi, Luca. Basically, if I push them all over there when I'm done with them, I can make sure I don't miss any, because I've already forgotten to count them. By the way, that sign next to the bin, that's the feeding instructions. That's how you care for your cows. Go on up, Jay. Up, 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 up. Oops, there we go. Come on. Brush, brush, little snipe. Oops, that's the wrong cow. You, come back. Hi, NCS. Now go away. You have been brushed. Be a good little cow. Hey, Jake. You know, speaking offhandedly of Nintendo Capri Sun, I was watching one of their Super Mario 3D World things, and he sniped a star right out from uh, Massey. It was it was beautiful. She was all lined up for it perfectly, and then he just swoops in and fucking steals it. And everyone's like, "Dude, Tim!" And I was so proud of him. He can be as cutthroat as anyone if the mood strikes him. It just rarely does, that's the thing. He's normally content to just be the nice guy. Which is a role he fills very well. Oh, you. This is exactly why I push you. You've been cowed. You've been... No, you haven't been cowed. You know, this is a lot like uh, actually watching all the Let's Players I watch, or trying to. You know? It's like, oh, Super Genius has uploaded a video. Josh Jepson's uploaded a video. And Nintendo Capri Sun's uploaded a video. I can't keep track of all these people. Fuck it, we're milking them going. Fine, I'll milk the air. Oh, 
Oh my god, the farm is crowded. This is what the chicken coop should look like. There's no freaking reason for all of them to be like this. You should have 20 chickens and only, like, 5 cows and 5 sheep. That's more than enough. I mean, I'm gonna appreciate this money when it comes in, but... Oh god, this is more work than the damn field. Anyway, we're gonna just cut it off right here. And skip those two hours, because I got stuff to do. Anyway, this was a pretty successful week, all things considered. And next week is sunny, right? Yep, next week will be a sunny day on Sunday. So, let's end this video off as usual. No, not read diary. Make diary for the second time this video. Sixty percent. What did I start with? Like forty something? I don't even know. But uh, don't expect that in the future. Anyway, I'm Kyrex, and this has been Let's Play Harvestman Back to Nature, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!